Bathrobe session 177. What am I doing? I'm off my feet. Get a little head scratch. Oh, wait a second. Uh, oh, right. I'm like Jack Haley Sr. Oil pan. Oil pan. What's our backdrop? Fireman? Special photo. This is uh, one of my guys went to the 9 11 stuff in New York over the weekend, and this was the fireman's uh, march down uh, to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Hmm. Must have been touching. I'll be in there in a couple weeks for something called the Tunnel to the Towers Run. Do you know that story? Mm -hmm. That's Stephen Siller kid. So Giuliani and I start the race, then we get in a car and drive in and finish the race. <laughs> oh. I wonder if this will stay. Anyway, Stan from Saginaw, Michigan. You're first up. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. Hey, Stan. Saginaw is beautiful. You ever been up there? No. It's like way up in Michigan, out on this lake. Is it Lake Michigan? I guess. But it's like a peninsula or something. Wait a second. Is that anything better than this? No. If you did this Q-tip pretty far in, and then you just open a can of tennis balls, You'd explode from pleasure, right? I get, the more I want it, I'm like that rat who keeps hitting the thing <laughs> to get the corn kernel. All right, that's silly. Go to work, Dennis. Uh, hi, Dennis. Hey, Stan. I am trying to, and by the way, my newest hair plugs look good, don't they? Doesn't my mane look luxuriant? It does. Huh? I think I'm probably done. I don't think I have to get any more, do you? I'm 57 now. If I get any more, it looks silly. Look like Eddie Munster. You know what happened though? It's getting too wide on this side. I gotta thin this out a little, right? I look like SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, I am trying to understand something here. Me too. I'm trying to understand anything here. Maybe you can help me out. Since the various competing media continues to convey how Fox is not a real media outlet. I work there. Can I tell you they've never told me to say anything? I, I, maybe it's different. I don't think it is, but, I, I, you know. If, you, if you, There's no marching orders there. Juan Williams is Alan Combs is on there, for Christ. Is there any more insipid uh, imperator of the left than Alan Combs? Since the various communities, uh, then why would the ratings for them be so high? Because it's just common sense. That's the underlay of Fox. Is it perfect? No. Is any human endeavor? No. Do they get it right more than anybody else? By far. And is it common sense based? Of course it is. It's just common sense stuff. Anybody who looks you in the eye and tells you these first three years have been exactly what they wanted, and this guy's a genius, and they can't believe how good this is, I would encourage you to go, yeah, you're right, and walk away. Because they're going to make your life hell if you don't agree. You'll be a racist. You'll be a rich pig. Just look at it and go, yeah, you're right. And walk away. Everybody knows it's crap. It's shit right now. This guy runs a shitty shop. It just doesn't work. Uh, whereas recognized real media outlets like CNN and MSNBC have such low viewership. Am I missing something here? I think there are more people who find Bill O'Reilly informed than there are at Schultz. I'll put it on that simple basis. Uh, you watch O'Reilly, they hate him on the left, but if you ever watch him, he's a pragmatist. Big, pragmatic, Irish cat out of Long Island, gets the everyman thing. And, you know, he and I disagree on certain things. He's anti the death penalty and that, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not slathering about it or lather about it, but there's some guys who just deserve to be croaked, if for no other reason, to put them out of their pain. And uh, so I don't agree with O'Reilly on everything, but obviously he makes a lot more sense than a guy like Ed Schultz does, you know? I mean, Ed Schultz seems so angry all the time. And, you know, if he heard this, he'd say, he'd say something angry about me. But when you're talking about burning places down and calling women, did he call her a bitch? I can't even remember Laura. It's just too angry. It's not working. Uh, number two. Enjoy these samples of the bathrobe sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.